One of the major concerns of the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, besides food security and job creation, is the mitigation of the effects of climate change in the Niger Delta region. To achieve this, IFAD is determined to replace the traditional cutting down of trees for fuel with biogas technology, which encourages turning waste to not just energy, but wealth, and secure the environment. This is exactly what the Abia Lively Good Improvement Family Enterprises, Naja Delta, Life ND, an initiative of the federal government, IFAD, and the Naja Delta Development Commission, NDDC, has done. This is where we collect our waste from the farm. And this automatically serves as my feed stock to the biogas setup we'll be seeing. Now, what we have here is a complete biogas system and this setup is um, locally sourced. What we have here is 1,000 liter container and in this setup we have three major openings because it's supposed to be airtight. Now one of the openings is this, this is the inlet pipe. This is the second opening which is our discharge pipe. And the last opening is this, this, which serves as our collection pipe. This collects the gas generated in this setup to this. This is our gas storage pipe um, bag. Now with what I've just done, you get to see that I just, this is freshly, um, fresh feedstock and you can observe bubblings in this scrubber. What we have here is water and um, the um, pellets to absorb moisture and to remove impurity from the gas collected from this. Our end product is supposed to be just methane gas because that is what we need for cooking. Um, this is just an indicator that the gas is um, extremely bubbling. I also have our sterile if we want to agitate the content here. If we want to agitate what we have in this um, digester, we will just stir. We will stir. And this will also agitate the organisms that feed on this feedstock, this organic material that I just poured into this container. So um, I also want us to demonstrate the usage of um, the gas we already have in our gas bag with um, the burner to cook so that we'll get to see the end product of what we've gotten from the sourced waste from our farm to this setup. And this is our gas collected in the gas bag. And we will be using that to also cook. Again, we also discharge at some point from this setup. And what we have here by way of discharge is, by way of discharge is organic fertilizer, which has been acted upon. This fertilizer is, this waste acted upon by microorganisms. It has high nutrient content that will be usable, that will be useful in our homestead garden the gas from our gas bag. Now the fire is on. This is just to show that this is burning. Now the good part is our gas is safe, it's not explosive. This is my rice for jollof rice. The raw rice, I want to prepare jollof. And this is the condiments. My rice is almost ready. Let me add other ingredients. This, um, my chopped onion is going in first. Um, pepper and um, tomato. Yes, my rice is ready. Let me dish. I'm eating. Eat well, 
live well, be well. In the course of carrying out these agri activities, a lot of waste is being generated, and in most cases, even the food, the ones that are supposed to be seen as, as food for our consumption, in most cases, because of other factors, for example, storage and uh, handling, uh, gets wasted. So we are looking at how do we even convert this waste to something reasonable, to a resource, per se. And in doing that, that's why we we've, we've have uh, uh, delved into this. So we are going to very soon identify some incubators and train and, and empower them in how to convert our agri waste to other resources. And in doing that, we will try to work towards ensuring a zero waste management uh, system. The Abia State Project Office of IFAD created this innovative portable biogas model for its beneficiaries and trainers to profitably manage waste for renewable energy.